Hi, dear Africa Business Jumpstarters. This is Dr. Harnett, your Africa Business Coach online and offline. Happy New Year to you and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the first thing I want to let you know is that I will be producing and sharing more YouTube videos from now on. And uh, simply because I want to get more tips, insights and success strategies out there so you can start your African business more confidently, faster and above all the right way. So what I did is I um, looked at the, the, the common questions I get from our Africa Business Jumpstart community online. Um, there are some questions that come up again and again. I actually sent a quick survey out yesterday to our online community in regards to a free webinar that I wanted to host. And there were so many questions and topics that were of interest that I will you know, take some of them to produce YouTube videos so that I really, you know, bring um, you the, the, the things that are of interest to you. And yeah, let's get started with um, one question that I received a couple of times yesterday, and that was, what are the best countries in Africa to do business in? It's a very important question. It's a very good question. Um, but the answer, of course, is not clear cut and it's not as easy. So I want to try to answer it. Let me start with the first level and then I will, will go a, a level up, so to speak. Um, the first thing I want to say is that I think it's very important for us as the African diaspora that first of all, we don't make emotional or attached decisions when it comes to our market selection in Africa. So your home country, if you still have close links to the continent, your home country, may or may not be a good country to do business in. It may have an enabling business environment or it may be very risky. It may be a growth country or it may, that, uh, it may not be that at all. Um, so I, I believe this is where it starts, you know, and I'm therefore glad that people ask me that question because it, it means they want to make informed decisions in this regard. So that's number one. Number two is, um, well, it depends on what a good country means. And I guess what a lot of people mean by that is they're looking for a country where you have an enabling business environment, where um, doing business is you know, relatively easy and opportunity is great. So some of the best countries, of course, are the ones that I put in the category, they're high in opportunity, but relatively low in risk. So it's the category that that ratio high opportunity and relatively low in risk. And these are, of course, great markets to get into. Now, a good indicator or a good tool that you can use straight away to to look for these kind of markets is the ranking by the World Bank. The, the World Bank does a, a global ranking of countries in terms of ease of doing business of these countries. So they take parameters or uh, indicators into consideration, such as how long does it take to get your business license? Um, how much will investors be protected? How easy is it to trade across borders? And so on and so forth. So these are very important indicators that um, will you know, let you know how enabling um, a business environment is in a certain country. Now, when you um, go to this list, and I'll give you actually the, the link right here, it's www.doingbusiness.org, and now it comes, slash rankings. And that's very important, the slash rankings, otherwise you receive the entire report but you just want the list. Now, with that list, you, you, know, you can see which of the African countries are scoring higher up. Uh, you won't see any, unfortunately, at the top of the list because this is a global ranking, but you can still look which of, which of the African countries are you know, ranking much higher than the others. We have 54 markets. So you could be looking, for example, for the top 15 or the top 20. Um, I would really go for the, maybe the top 10 or 10, top 15 to, to be sure that these countries have in relation to the other African countries a much, much better business environment in terms of enabling business, in terms of ease of doing business. 
Now, this is, I think, one very important indicator. But then again, if you ask, what is the best country to do business in? There's so many things that you need to keep in mind. So first of all, what's your interest? What's your industry interest? You see, there are certain countries where your industry may be on a clear upward trend where you have you know, huge dynamics. And then you have other countries where your industry of choice may simply be in its infant shoes. And that means you know, there, there are not enough players in the industry. There's, there is um, not a good infrastructure um, set in place. There is, there is simply no dynamics that you can tap into. And that means it will be very difficult for you as a startup to get that um, industry into motion. So you need to look also at that constellation in terms of where in which countries in Africa is my industry on a clear upward trend, really dynamic and where we can see a lot of growth and and uh, things happen. But uh, other indicators may be, okay, uh, best markets. I am looking for a very stable market, you know, a, a market where we have long-term political stability, where I don't need to worry that um, political unrest uh, will affect my business. Well, in that case, for example, I'm just giving you a few examples so you can see the differentiation. In that case, for example, you may want to choose Ghana or Tanzania. If, if you look at the top countries in terms of ease of doing business, the point I just mentioned earlier, you're looking at countries such as Rwanda, South Africa, Botswana, Mauritius. Um, there are other indicators that may be important to you to, to make up, you know, a, to look for a good country. And that is that maybe you want to have a country where infrastructure is in place, a good infrastructure just just rolled out across the country. You find that, for example, in Namibia and South Africa. Or you want to look for countries where you have a really vibrant consumer base. Maybe you are uh, planning to manufacture or sell fast-moving consumer goods and, and you're looking really to tap into a huge consumer base. Then choose Nigeria and Kenya, for example. You may um, want to look at countries where you say, well, a good country for me is one where the opportunities are not taken up yet, um, where I have a big population, yet the, the opportunity, the potential is so big because no one, you know, or, or not a lot of people are, are doing business there yet. And so I have untapped potential. Um, you may be looking at big markets such as the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo or Ethiopia, for example. Maybe you're running an online business where you think, okay, a good market for me is one where I have fast connectivity, I can make quick downloads and I can actually run my business without problems online. A good country may be Kenya, Morocco. Um, uh, what other country is good for online connectivity? Um, those two are that coming. Rwanda is also very good. Nigeria is doing quite um, good, improving in this regard. So um, there are other markets also that come up, you know, that that come up now in in terms of um, so much more opportunity growing there and business uh, environment is enabling. So they're opening up in new ways. You have countries like Ivory Coast and Mozambique, for example. Um, what other indicators do we have? Uh, I think I, I, I mentioned um, most of them just to give you examples uh, and that really means that you cannot just you know pin, pin down a country as being the best country to do business in. There are many parameters that will play an important role as I have just showed you. So important is to look at okay what industry do I want to go into and which of the indicators are very important to me. Um, corruption for example is another huge uh, concern for many in the diaspora. So if you're looking for countries where corruption is very low then it would be um, Rwanda and Botswana for example as compared to other countries. So 
the list goes really on and on and I could um, talk a lot about that and and you may maybe think okay why has my country not been mentioned I just wanted to give you an idea that there is no such thing as best country um, what I will be saying is there are countries that are not good to go into and these are countries in my view where the opportunity is quite low yet the risk is very high so you want to ideally look for countries where opportunity is big yet risk is relatively low as compared to other countries and the business environment is enabling this is where you want to get started later once you have you know a secure cash flow and you know how to operate you can always move into riskier countries so I hope this was helpful and it answered the question on, you know, what are the best countries to do business in Africa. Again, if your country has not been mentioned, I, I just wanted to give some examples and drive the message home. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you with more questions in the next video. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out and you will find also a link beneath the video where I offer free Africa business training, a series where you can just dig more and go more into the insights of how to do business in Africa. It's goodbye from me now. This is Dr. Hannes for you. Bye-bye.